Well, a new report published by the Center for Disease Control shows that Idaho has one of the lowest vaccination rates for kindergartners in the country. Today, we spoke with a state health expert about that report and also an Idaho parent who's decided to not have her children vaccinated. Our Joe Paris joins us here in the studio with a look at both sides of the continuing Idaho vaccination controversy. Joe, what's the latest? Well, Mark, in the state of Idaho, students are supposed to get vaccinated before enrolling in public school, but the state does allow parents to send unvaccinated students to school if they file an exemption form with the school. Now, this new CDC report examines that slightly growing trend here at home. A new report from the CDC shows that about 89% of kindergartners in Idaho public schools are vaccinated for MMR, DTaP, and varicella. Those vaccination rates are among the lowest in the country. Vaccines do work, and so that's why we encourage them. Rafe Hewitt with the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare says they advise all parents without medical exemptions to get their kids vaccinated. But the new data from the CDC isn't too different from years past. What we did see with the school data, a lot of that data did kind of remain kind of flat line compared to the years past. Our exemption rate continues to kind of trend up a little bit. In the last year, Idaho's vaccination exemption rate for students enrolled in kindergarten went from 6.5% to 7.1%. I've never had my children vaccinated. I personally have chosen to do vaccines and had some unpleasant experiences from it and chose not to. Sarah Brady sends her kids to Idaho public schools and chooses not to vaccinate them, which is perfectly legal in the GEM state. All parents like Brady have to do is sign an exemption indicating their personal choice to not vaccinate. And really, honestly, what it comes down to is it's my right to decide if you're going to inject something in my child or not. That's my right, and I'm going to keep that right. Regardless of what a parent chooses to do, Brady says she hopes all parents know there are options. I am actually happy to see um, when people are taking their exemptions, that tells me that they know what their rights are. And I just want them to be educated either way. I, you know, If you're going to vaccinate, know what the risks are. If you're going to choose not to, know what those risks are. The Department of Health and Welfare says they respect a parent's decision, but their message stays the same. The parents choose to take measures to help reduce a chance of, of of a, a harmful thing happening to their child. So in, in the same sense, that's what we do with vaccinations. It increases your chances at preventing disease. We wouldn't choose it for our own family, but we would never stop you from choosing it. And it's important to note that the CDC report we talked about here includes data from 99.6% of Idaho kindergarten students. So like all re research reports, it's important to know that this one is a good representation of data. Now, with that in mind, the Department of Health and Welfare says it is also important to note that if a parent decides to exempt their child from even one vaccine or part of a vaccine, their child is included in the pool of kids with exemptions. So it is entirely possible that kids in the exe uh, exemption pool still have some vaccines. DE Mark Health and Welfare admits again that all vaccines are not 100% effective, but they say immunization is the best way, in their opinion, to prevent your child from getting sick.